Now that's a hands-on mum. Sarah Vine says Megan is radiant and elegant just two days after giving birth, and spots the body language that speaks volumes about two people deeply invested in each other. Most mothers of a two and a half day old baby are barely able to get their slippers on, let alone shoehorn their swollen feet into a pair of five in nude stilettos, or cantilever a still bruised body into a pair of spanks. But the Duchess of Sussex is no ordinary woman. She's certainly not going to let the small matter of having only just given birth get in the way of looking her fabulous best. And so it was that with not a hint of support stocking in sight, looking about 24 as opposed to her actual age of 37, she introduced Archie Harris in Mount Baden Windsor, every inch the superstar. Meghan is a big fan of wearing white for significant occasions, she wore it when the couple announced their engagement, and yesterday was no exception. Again, not a color most new mothers would attempt. Again, Megan is not most new mothers. Her sleeveless tuxedo dress was, like the rest of her, immaculate. At least she didn't have to worry about negotiating those vertiginous heels at the same time as carrying her precious little bundle of joy. Harry, proud father, took care of that, holding his son in the crook of his right arm as one might hold a priceless Ming vase. Like any new dad, he looked a little nervous to be entrusted with such an important and complex task, but Megan's constant touch, guiding him to their place in front of the cameras and then leading him from the room afterwards, was no doubt a great source of reassurance for him. If the setting for the much anticipated photo call, the majestic St. George's Hall at Windsor Castle, felt a tad stuffy, with its crimson carpet, wood paneling, and stern marble busts. The Duke and Duchess presented a thoroughly relaxed and modern tableau of new parenthood. Garlanded in smiles, beautifully coordinated in stylish shades of white and gray, the three were an Instagram dream come true with baby Sussex himself swaddled in snowy, soft focus cashmere. Even Meghan's manicure was an elegant shade of pearl, much in evidence as she caressed her little one's head and clung demurely to her husband's arm. We didn't get to see much of the newborn himself although enough to denote a faint blue shadow on his upper lip, a telltale sign of the bane of every new mother's life, wind. Truly his mother's son, he delivered a faultless performance, slumbering angelically throughout his debut. Was that a glimpse of his grandfather Thomas's button nose? Only time will tell. As Harry pointed out, baby's faces change constantly in the first few weeks. Stylish and radiant as she was, Megan did nevertheless seem a little impatient to get away from the cameras and the inevitable questions. And who can blame her? Whatever you think about the royals, however much they have a duty towards the public on important occasions such as this, having a baby is fundamentally a deeply human, personal experience. The Duke and Duchess are new parents like any others. Why wouldn't they want to escape the scrutiny of the world and retreat into that wonderfully special baby bubble? These early days of a newborn's life are truly magical, especially when, like Harry and Meghan, you are profoundly in love. Of that there can be little doubt. Their body language spoke volumes about two people deeply invested in each other and their new family unit. More than once, the Duchess caught her husband's eye, seeking reassurance, and gazing adoringly at him was he spoke of his joy. Likewise, he gazed down at her clearly in awe of his wife. Unlike the occasions when Prince William introduced each of his three children to the world on the steps of St. Mary's Hospital, Paddington, this felt like a much more private, more intimate moment. Perhaps it's something to do with the secrecy surrounding the details of baby Sussex's arrival, but also maybe to do with the nature of Meghan and Harry's own relationship with the media, which is so different from that of William and Kate's. The Cambridges have always been much less fussy about their public image. They've always been happy to fall in line with convention when it comes to showcase royal moments. Meghan and Harry are different. They are determined to do things their way, to establish a new modus operandi, to rewrite the script to suit them and ensure the pressures of public life don't undermine their very happiness. It looks like they might just be succeeding. Female fashion verdict, striking in white. She was confident and in full control. By Dinah Van Tuleken. Many new mums might spend the first six months after the birth of their child in tracksuit bottoms and oversized t-shirts. 
but a little over 48 hours from bringing Archie into the world the Duchess of Sussex stepped out in a striking white, yes, white, dress designed by Grace Wales Bonor, a rising talent on the fashion scene, and an elegant pair of Manolo Blahnik suede court shoes to introduce her baby. And she looked incredible. While many celebrity mums would have you believe your figure returns moments after giving birth, the Duchess didn't try to hide her bump, nodding the belt of her double-breasted tuxedo dress neatly above her tummy. The dress bore a resemblance to the white wrap coat by line the label she wore at the announcement of her engagement to Harry in November 2017. She went for a familiar style from the fashion world's favorite new designer, just last week Wales Bonner was awarded the BFC. Vogue Fashion Fun Prize, and, clearly, feels very comfortable. Meghan was positively glowing. Where most in her situation would have looked shell-shocked, she appeared confident and in control. And she used this opportunity, where she knew the eyes of the world would be on her, to showcase a young British designer. She accessorized with a simple £680 Jennifer Meyer 18k gold turquoise necklace, 460 pounds of Dean Yaretta 3 Diamond Amigos earrings, and those favorite court shoes, 495 pounds. Many new mums struggle to fit their shoes, let alone contemplate designer heels. But the choice was hardly surprising, Megan did it all through her pregnancy, showing her strength and, literally, her balance. She showed further trust and confidence by getting Harry to carry the baby. The new dad looked particularly dapper in a light grey blue suit, believed to be from Seville Row Taylor Richard James, 